Sherry Strait is now going to show us how she does a critical appraisal. So a main thing is that what I do is I move fairly quickly for a first pass. So I'm just going to kind of demo that. So what I start doing is I just start scanning through the document. And what I'm doing is I'm looking for anything that's a critical appraisal item. Here they say double blind, multi-center randomized control, superiority trial, great. But I want to see details, so I don't bother to mark that. Here we've got aim. And here we've got a primary endpoint. Okay, again, they're repeating randomized double-blind, but I have to actually see what they're doing, but we see it's a multi-center trial. Here's some inclusion criteria. Here's some diagnosis definitional stuff. Exclusion criteria. Okay, computer. Computerized random number generator, so I'm at random there. And then we see column center, there's concealment of allocation. Baseline characteristics, now I just scan to see if they're similar. I also tend to look for what they've chosen to report. Here we have provided by the manufacturer identical pills, so there's blinding. All steady staff, those working with data blinded. Okay, here's a definition of an event. Okay, we've got some measurement information here. Page one. A patient's provided with an icy drink, standardized, blah, blah, blah. So here's the intervention. Okay, episodes are documented during the visit. And then happily here I see they mentioned blinded observers, so I've got another fragment of blinding information. Okay, safety outcomes. Okay, patients evaluated. There's another measurement item. Now we start into the results. Okay, we see some patients not completed the trial, so some discontinuation information. And then I take a look and see are the groups similar. In terms of patient disposition, if they aren't, that's not necessarily a problem, but that's important information for me. If they were, I might make a little triangle there. That means for me that I've got an action to take that I need to go back and check on that. And here we've got the number of events possible, so that's related to re uh, results. More safety information, they're describing the safety population. Okay, they did it appropriately. Here we've got adherence. Summary of the results. Ooh, nice big difference. Okay, here we've got more safety information. can look at a table of safety events and compare that. And then what I do is I take my critical appraisal checklist and then I scan through that and what I'm looking for is anything that didn't get addressed in the study that should have gotten addressed. And let's pretend they didn't tell me assessors were blinded. I would go back here, here write negative and I'd write no blind assessor or something like that to tell me what it was that I found that was a problem. And now I've got a marked up copy that I can go back and look at all the instances they talk about blinding, for example, and I can take a more leisurely look if I want. But that gets me pretty far for a first pass.